God dang computer. Thing never works for me. Trying to get my name off this sex offender list and I can't do it. What the heck is going on? I can't find nothing around here to get all my stuff. God, it'd help me if I turn the monitor on. See this thing comes up. Yeah, I can download all that kitty porn and stuff. I got these tape boxes everywhere. There, this, now this maybe will work. Maybe I can find what I'm looking for here. All right, let's see here. Oh. Yep, that's where I'm coming. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> I'm Haculus. And I'm Draculus. You know that Terminator movie that they got that robot and, well, for, first there was the big robot <coughs> and that black guy, he ran it and made it, made the Terminators? Well, so, this ain't like that. So, you know, this, we got this Mannix robot thing. There's these babies and they're like in them orb, like in those old 60 lampshades. They're like in them. And they got these tubes in their arms and they got one in the back of their neck. That's gotta hurt. And, uh, well, it's the Mannix. His fault. The robots, the manic robots. And, uh, well, and the, you know, your balls itch, but, uh, but they really aren't there, so you don't have to scratch them. Yeah, so, so don't worry. Ignore about. the pubic hair, it falls out too, because it really isn't there. Yeah, your hair looks a lot different. Some but it really isn't there. To Maddox. <laughs> but anyway, um, that Maddox, he's bad. So, uh, so, well, Neil, you're the one. You're yep. the one that's gonna save us and fight Mannix and so we don't have them tubes and them orb 60 things. Neil? My name is not Neil. You're the hacker Neil. I'm not Neil or Neil, whoever you guys are looking for. Okay. You're not Neil or Neo? No. What about that new Nero, that Disney movie? No, the Nemo or whatever? No. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not that either. Are you Bob? No. I've heard of Neil and Bob. No, I think it's the wrong place. You guys can get out of here. Sorry. No. Yeah, hit the road. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. So, Mr. Caribou, we've been looking through your files. And we see you've been hanging around with a terrible crowd. These Haculus. Haculus and Draculus. And Mr. Caribou, I think that you are going to help us capture these hackers. In my responses to that, I'm going to give you this finger. I ain't going to give you guys. I want to talk to my lawyer. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here. Well, Mr. Caribou, how are you going to talk to your lawyer if you can't speak? <laughs> Who are you going to talk to now? Why do we have to get up and run? Why wouldn't we just be wherever he's at? Shut up. It doesn't work that way. Come on.
I got away from those guys. Again? Never see that movie Old Yeller? Yeah. Well, that's got nothing to do with this. You know me. Oh, Neil. Neil. Uh, no, Neil. I know the cows with Neil. Well, that's good enough. Yeah. Come on, you're coming on us. Well, there, Neil. Um, there's no way I can explain this Matrix thing to you. You gotta be kidding me. No, believe it or not. Be uh, it's hard to believe you can't explain as it. As articulate as I am, I can't even do it. The only way. Well, you tell them they're Draculas. You got a choice. You can take the coldies and stay in the Mannix world, or, or, you can try the beef jerky. And whisk yourself off for a fun-filled vacation in the real world. Not that stupid MTV one, the real world. <laughs> choice is yours. Take the beef jerky. Ooh, that's a good story. <laughs> Not too much. Mmm, salty. <laughs> in the real world, doesn't it? Well... <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. It, you're right. Whew. You know what? I, Courtesy, I wanna... Flash! I want to go back to the Mannix. Will you? Yeah. Uh oh Bend over! Let's where we, go. Where are we going anyway? Come on. Wait, no, stop right here and I'll tell you about it. No, stop right, stop right here. <laughs> tell you, we gotta go inside here and you gotta go visit the Oracle. The or Oracle. as we like to call them, the Orb Rat. Oh, alright, I guess I can do that. Yep, because uh, that's, that's what it says we gotta do. So. Okay, well, if Dan says we gotta do it, we better do it. Come on, come on. Inside this trailer house here. Well, let's go. You go and go in here. Oh, okay, I'll go. Yep. Yeah. Excuse you. So how about them Vikings? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not real though. Yeah, that's true. It's all in my mind. Well, here I am. Yep, here you are and here I am. Orb rat. <laughs> orb rat? Yeah, that's me. I'm set. I got the whiskers in my mouth because I'm an orb rat bat. <laughs> so what am I doing here? There, I got two things to tell you. First of all, you ain't it. So, you ain't it. And... You know, did you ever see that Yuri Geller bend spoons with his mind? Yeah. He can't do that. So don't, those plastic spoons don't bend. No, they break. So don't worry about no spooning. No spooning? Oh. Well, I missed that. So if I can't, if I'm not in, I can't spoon, then what am I doing? supposed to do? What about those guys with them sunglasses? How do I get rid of those clowns? Them guys that put bread in your mouth? Yeah, those guys that put bread in my mouth. Kick them in the nuts. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I'm wise. That's right, I kick him in the nuts. Yep, okay. Yep. Yabu! Yeah, Yabu! Yeah, it's over. Now. I can leave, okay. Scene's over. Get out of here. Thank you. Bye. Here we are. Yeah, here we are. <coughs> this, is, this is the, this is a virtual world here that I created. It's a computer program and, and here we are. We're in it. Well, we, we're in it all right. <laughs> Look at that! Four of them! Yeah, I don't know. 
the hell picked this side anyway? <laughs> Hey, change the program. <laughs> no more mosquitoes up. around here. Hell, that's that right. Well, that sucked. I get west now. I want to kick Dan's ass. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is better anyway because here we are at a school. And this, then I'm going to teach you stuff. That's right. So, what are you going to teach me? Teach you how to fight. Okay. Fight like a man. All right. All right. Start, start teaching me. All right. Here we go. I'm all trained and everything and ready to wait for bad guys to show up and so I can kick their ass. That shouldn't be too difficult with the good training I got. <laughs> That's what you think, Mr. Caribou. Is that it? Uh, yeah, cut. That's a wrap. <laughs> Very good. For thousands of years, people have gotten a suntan simply by laying in the sun. Now there's a much simpler and easier way. Find out how today on Tan for Life. And now, here's your host of Tan for Life, Kevin Trudeau. My guest today is Larry Doherty, who is the owner and creator of a new exciting tanning product called Spray and Tan. Larry, <laughs> welcome to Tan for Life. Can you tell us a little bit about Spray and Tan? Yes, Kevin, I can. <laughs> Spray and Tan is my own creation because the world needs to be tan through spraying. Okay, uh, do you like mash? Yes, I like mash. Okay, how does uh, spray and tan different, uh, how is that different from going outside and sitting in the sun? Well, Kevin, I can tell you, or we can, or other people can tell you. Let's go to the clip. 
As you know, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm a vampire. So I can't go out in the sun and get a nice tan like normal people, you know. So I like to use the spray and tan. Okay, well that seems very interesting. You do get a very uh, lovely result with your uh, spray and tan <laughs> system. Yes! Uh, could you maybe explain for our viewers uh, out there who are watching our show how the spray and tan system uh, works? Well, unlike most spraying product places, you're required to go to that place. But with my spray and tan, we come to you via truck. <laughs> Take a look at the clip. Here's a truck. And in the clip, you'll see a truck pulls up to your house. You'll stand outside and we'll spray you down with spray and tan. Ooh. Ooh, look at it. Oh, it's quite tanning. And then that's it. And then after several hours, the tanning solution dries. <laughs> and after the painful burning itch, you'll end up looking like this. Well, that is fascinating. So, uh, can anybody drive a truck? <laughs> yeah. Well, Larry, that is all very fascinating. Why don't we listen to another exciting testimonial of one of your customers who uses sp uh, spray and tan. I use spray and tan because it gives me that nice, healthy glow. It uh, prevents any sunburn I get outside. It, it burns the skin a little bit, painful itch. But I tell you, after that first 20 minutes, it goes away and it, you just feel so good. I can't recommend spray and tan enough. Why, yes, Larry, spray and tan is a very good product. Yeah. Why don't you tell the people, if they would like to be uh, sprayed and tanned, how they can uh, get a hold of you and uh, contract your service? Well, it's quite simple. Call this number today. Okay. Well, be sure to do that, people. Uh, and that is all the time we have today for Tan for Life. I am your host, Kevin Trudeau. Thank you for watching. And I'm Draculus. And we're here because, well, tell you about it, you, uh, you, uh, remember that Terminator movie? <laughs> <You know what? laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sitting there looking at your yeah, face and you going, know I have no he idea. has no freaking clue what he's saying. None. Aren't you Neil? No, no, no. <laughs> we'll do that at the very you end. Keep, you oh, it's still me. So I'm gonna, ex I'm gonna explain the whole Matrix thing first and then go, so, so Neil, come on, oh, let's go. You're gonna we... save the world. And then he says, when do I scratch my balls? Oh, I don't know. That'll have to be over the shoulder or something. You won't, you, we'll just put that in later, see so how I can scratch my head. What if they hit? Let's just scratch my head. Let's just say, what if they hit? You want Dan to scratch him? Yeah. <laughs> what we gotta do is we gotta fight the robot, not the Terminator robot, the Manic robot. Cause there's these manic robots. <laughs> yeah. Dang it! <laughs> you know what I'm laughing. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Hey, how about you go? I look at you and you're all serious. <laughs> you're going like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, this is going to work this way. Don't look at the face. Don't have to knock either because we already did that. Okay, ready?